how to make your own Minecraft crafting recipes in vanilla Minecraft. Hey guys, it's Chad and the Minecraft Snapshot just dropped that has the way for you to create your own crafting recipes in vanilla Minecraft. Now, everything is very, very buggy at this point, but this is as close to I can get as to exactly how to make your own crafting recipes. Things may change in the future, but without further ado, let's jump into it and check this out because it's amazing. So here we are inside of Minecraft and there is a lot to get through. So let's just jump straight into it. Let me show you what some of the crafting recipes that I came up with look like. Here's just a few. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to do. It is just a little bit difficult to get the hang of it. So the first thing that I tried doing was making trapdoors able to make their door counterparts. So now if you put two trapdoors together, you'll get a, an actual door out of it. And this is a shapeless crafting recipe. So wherever the trapdoors are in the crafting grid, uh, they will make one door. So now if you want to get all your trapdoors back to doors, you can just uh, do that. And that works with all of the doors. I went ahead and did that for everything, jungle, spruce, iron, oak, all those. Next, kind of in that vein, I thought a dead bush. Maybe if you put uh, four dead bushes together, you'd get uh, some oak planks. So I did that. Now that is a shape crafting recipe. So if I have it kind of like this, well, it's not going to make uh, any oak planks, but if I put them together, uh, it will work. But that doesn't, it doesn't matter where it is in the grid. They just have to be in that pattern. So you can uh, have them in any portion of the grid, but they do have to be uh, in the grid somewhere. And next to show off a true crafting recipe that needs to be exactly where it is in the grid. Well, I guess it used up all the space. Uh, what I thought was, uh, you know, something that is in vanilla that's just really difficult to get uh, is an, a bottle of enchanting. So I made it a little bit easier for you to get. Use that old rotten flesh and some bottles that you have around and so now by putting rotten flesh around a glass bottle, you'll get a bottle of enchanting. And you can see, by the way, I have up the uh, this uh, crafting uh, grid over here. By the way, if you're wondering how to get that, just click that green little book right there. You can see that now I have this actually inside of the normal uh, you know, grid. Once I've added it, it does all the extra work to put it into the game. So if I hold down shift, it'll put all the bottles that I can possibly get, hold down shift and click them. There you go. So it works exactly how you would expect things to work. So how are you going to make your own, uh, you know, of these packs that people could download and test out? Well, let's head on over into the file browser. So here we are, and I made these humongous, I don't know if uh, you guys are going to love this or not, but just so you could see a little bit easier, I made just all of the icons gigantic. Also, you'll see this icon a lot, this, this weird square with the S in it. That stands for Sublime Text, which is the text editor that I use, uh, it looks just like this, in order to uh, edit all of the JSON files. So I have it set on my computer to be the default program. So the icon changes into this ridiculous uh, black button looking thing. So find your Minecraft folder. For my snapshots, you can also follow the uh, the crumb trail right here. Uh, for my snapshots, I put them in a, a separate folder uh, in my documents. So you're going to go to your saves, which is this folder right here. Then the, the world that I'm working in is this one, New World, with two dashes at the end. Sorry, wait. They're not gigantic icons. There you go. Now you can actually see it. No, I'm just kidding around. Uh, right there with the two dashes. Go ahead and move into that. Now you're going to look for these this data pack folder. Data packs is the folder that you want. Go ahead and open that in. Up. Now I already have two folders inside of here. One is OMG Craft. This is the one that I've been using. So if I dig in here and go to recipes, you can see all the recipes that I showed off in the video, you know, just earlier, the spruce door, birch door, iron door, my XP bottle, and my bush to plank recipe. But we're going to make all of this ourselves. So head back to the data packs area. 
where you have OMG craft and recipe underscore test. This was a test from a Reddit user uh, that was helping me uh, basically understand what's going on. So first you're going to make a folder in uh, this data packs folder. And this is basically your folder that you're going to work within. And if you are ever going to share, you'd share this folder uh, as well. So just make a folder. This can be named anything. It could be named my my best pack ever. Next, dig in to that. Now you're going to need a, another folder and we're going to call this one data. And you're also going to have to put in a uh, pack.mc meta. And this is the metadata that uh, Minecraft uses. And this might seem familiar if you've ever done a resource pack, you need the same thing. So I'm just gonna jump over to, uh, uh, I'm gonna jump back into our data packs just so you're following along. I'm gonna go into the OMG craft pack that I had made before. And you can see that there's that data file that I uh, just made on the other side, on in the other pack. But this pack.mcdata, I'm just gonna uh, copy this and then bring it over to my best pack ever and go ahead and paste this here. And there it is. Here, once again, let's, let's get it to all the look. So I'm gonna double click this and open it up. You can see this is as simple as it gets and you can use really any text editor uh, you have in order to pull this off. Uh, so if I right click this and say open with, and I say something like notepad and hit enter, Almost everyone has Notepad on their computer, and this is what it looks like. So it's not much different. I just use Sublime Text to kind of highlight things, use use a little bit extra stuff. It understands that things are JSON files and things like that. So it's very similar. You can just use Notepad. You don't have to use Sublime Text like I'm doing. But uh, this is just a normal uh, pack.mc meta, and so we're just going to change this description to be uh, OMG craft omg craft test pack and so this description may show up somewhere in the future at the moment i, I haven't noticed it uh showing up anywhere so now that we have uh oh <laughs> now that has changed there we go oh geez now it's a different button oh my word i don't understand okay so that's <laughs> that big button that we saw before is now this button okay doesn't matter moving on You've created the data folder and the pack.mc meta. Now you're going to move into the data folder and create one more folder. I'm naming this OMG. This is also called your namespace. So just keep that in mind. Now we're going to go in here and there, this is where you would build out all of your data packs. And you remember in a data pack, you can have a whole bunch of stuff. You can have advancements, functions, loot tables, recipes, and structures at the moment. We are gonna focus only on recipes. So we're gonna create another new folder and call this one recipes. Okay, now we have recipes and we're gonna go inside of that. And then this is where you would put all of your folders. So let's just review. I'm gonna go all the way back to the uh, original save. How about that? This is the save file. You can see data and all those player data and things like that. So we're gonna go into data packs. This is the pack we just created, my best ever. My best ever. Go ahead in there. We have the MC data the, the, and the pack go inside of there. Sorry, this is not this is the correct view. Go to OMG and then go into recipes. That's where we're at right now. Now, I'm going to do the same thing in OMG craft. Go to data, OMG craft, recipes, and you can see all of these recipes are already inside of this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, a few of these just to show you the difference between them. So here we are in the recipes folder on the new pack that we made. I'm going to just paste all these in here. So let me go ahead and open this iron door first, because that was the first recipe we showed off. If you look inside of it, you can see that it's pretty simple to follow along because we have the type. This is crafting shapeless. Remember that those planks or those trapdoors could be in any position in the uh, crafting table. Then you have your ingredients and the two ingredients are the Minecraft Tra iron trap door, Minecraft iron trap door. And the result of that crafting recipe is another iron door with a count of just one. You only get one iron trap door. Let's look at another. Next, I'm going to do the bush to plank recipe that I showed off. And this one, you can see that it is a crafted shaped recipe. So uh, shaped is what we want to focus on here, that th this has a shape to it. And you can kind of see the pattern here. If you remember back in Minecraft, I'd put a bush, a bush, a bush, a bush, 
but it didn't matter where it showed up in the crafting recipe as long as it was two bushes with two bushes directly below it that would make what we want so the way that you need to think about this pattern is how the pattern would show up in the crafting table in a crafting table there's three slots three slots and then three slots well this is the exact same thing one easy way to think about it is if i copy this line now we have all three rows and if i add these hash marks so that we can have an extra one. This is a good representation of what the entire crafting grid is. And so in this pattern, the way that the dead bush is set up, uh, I would need to put a dead bush in every single slot of the crafting recipe, and then I would get one oak plank from it. But I could change this around. Maybe I want to create it uh, a little bit more like pants or something like that. So I would delete this, but I would add a space, and the space means that that spot in the crafting table is empty so I delete this add a space that area in the crafting table is recipe so you would make it just like you would expect to make pants but with dead bushes and then you would get planks out of it and so that is how this representation of the crafting recipe works it's a really elegant way to uh, make whatever you want now let's go back to how we just had it a really cool thing about how this works is it uses kind of a key design so you may see on a map and there's some symbol. You don't know what that symbol means. You go look at the key for that symbol and it explains what it is. So right here, these hash marks, it explains that those hash marks are actually a dead bush. So if I wanted to, I could change all of these to A's. There we go. Just like this. And the key for A now is a dead bush. So we could change this around to be whatever symbol we want. Um, I'm using, I'm going to show you another tool in the, in the future and it, it automatically pushes in those, those hash marks. So wherever that's, that pattern shows up, it will give you the oak planks with a count of one. Now I'm going to show you the XP bottle that we made and you can see crafted shaped once again. Uh, and this pattern has those hash marks and those hash marks equal rotten flesh and the G item is a glass bottle. So you can see the G in the middle. So this all starts to make sense to you, basic, I hope, at least, uh, that uh, you can see that there's a pattern and you can change around the pattern. And let's say, you know what, uh, this top thing has to be empty. You could add in spaces here, and that means that that has to be empty and that there has to be uh, those below. In fact, let me go ahead and save this. Now I've just reloaded the world, and let's get some rotten flesh. And you can see that my recipe has changed now because now I do the glass bottle in the middle, uh, nothing at the top because I added spaces up there. So I hope that you understand a little bit about what all of these uh, commands are actually doing. And now you can make your own. Now you could go ahead and look inside of this code and copy all that code, but I have a better tool for you. This is a crafting recipe creator. This is from the destruction right there, uh, spelled with a seven and a zero. Um, and this works really, really well. There are a few issues with this at the moment because some of these blocks aren't updated. Maybe they'll be updated in the future. But you can see just how simple it looks to be. So let's uh, recreate the dead shrub uh, that we did before. So if we take a shrub, we can actually click it, drag it over. It has this really cool little like shaky animation. We drag those over just like this. And then the output is going to be that plank. So we grab this, drop it there, and there you go. We could change this into a shapeless crafting recipe. And shapeless means that it could be like this and it would still create uh, the, the plank. So if it, and you can also see the JSON file that it's creating. Uh, and so if we hit shapeless, it will change this so that there just needs to be tall grass somewhere somewhere in here uh, somewhere at all doesn't matter uh, but if we do shaped then it needs to be exactly where it's at you can change there exactly where placed which would mean that it adds the extra spaces into uh into that that pattern remember the pattern with all the hexes and change it all around um and so that is how we can easily make a json file except that because this isn't updated, there's a lot of names that have changed. So if you go through this process, uh, you may have some issues. One, in fact, is that you can see underneath the dead shrub, this is Minecraft colon tall grass. Well, actually, in the new game of Minecraft, 
Dead shrubs are Minecraft colon dead underscore bush. So, oh, I guess it's a dead bush, not a dead shrub. Uh, dead bush. So, uh, we'd have to, if we use, if we wanted to create this, we need to double check that all the names haven't changed because one of the big things about this update is that all the names are changed. So like Minecraft spruce planks, uh, Minecraft, even oak planks, uh, you can see the name underneath, uh, the, the actual name, the white name. Um, that's all different. We can look back over here. This is just Minecraft planks. And so if we wanted to do this one second and also uh this has two types of dead bushes you can see tall grass and dead bush so if we wanted to get a little bit closer so we have this uh created now you can click download crafting recipe json and it'll download that we would take this and put it into our folder and let me just drop it in and there we go. We have crafting crafting recipe three. Now these can be named anything you want. Uh, I like to name them uh, so that I remember what they are. So OMG craft a bush, and then go ahead and open that up. So we can see that we need to change this to dead underscore bush, and that's the correct name of things in Minecraft now. And this needs to be uh, instead of just planks, it needs to be oak underscore planks. Then we hit save. And now we can reload the world and use this. One more thing to note, once you're in world, uh, you do have the data pack um, command and this can do all sorts of stuff. So you can enable and disable and list. Whoops, I didn't hit tab to complete that. Um, so list and you can see all of the data pack names. So you can see vanilla recipe underscore test dot zip OMG craft. Oh, look, that's where the, the uh, description shows up. I was wondering, early in the episode, I was wondering. Uh, there you go. And uh, OMG Craft Test Pack, my best ever, is the name of the, the uh, folder. And uh, there you go. So we can change this to uh, enable and disable stuff. We can list them and we can move stuff around. One interesting thing about the data pack is you can disable... Your vanilla, by the way, sometimes this tab autocomplete works, sometimes it doesn't, which is kind of nice that I could just like disable or enable. But you can do the the, the vanilla pack. So I can hit uh, vanilla, I can go over here, and everything that I would normally craft is not craftable. Actually, let me just reload this world. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I broke the world. I have a feeling that I know what that was because I had created two exactly the same crafting recipes. I think that was causing some issues. Uh, so I just deleted uh, because I had the bush recipe from one world and now anyway, I deleted them so they're, they don't completely overlap. But that being said, we should have deleted the uh, normal way to craft uh, things. So now the only crafting recipes available are my data packs. Uh, and so if I wanted to do something normal, like craft a door, I can't, I can't even craft sticks at this moment because I have disabled the vanilla data pack so that, uh, I can't craft anything. The only thing that I can craft is the specialty, uh, things that I have, uh, enabled. This is some really powerful stuff because you can imagine that basically mods can be added now into Minecraft because you can change how blocks look. You can change the crazy things with resource packs. Now you can change recipes even so mods can now use the actual crafting table in the in the past you had to like throw them all on the ground and then it would detect that there's enough blocks on the ground to create a thing now you can use the crafting table as you normally would and it actually cre creates everything that you need so this is incredibly powerful now this is of course snapshot so everything that i said could change ways to do this could change hopefully i'll do an updated video later but you can see how amazing this actually is and i will reiterate once again that this is very early days this is the first snapshot that we're seeing how to make these crafting recipes in so things may change there may be things like things are named differently or the way that the, the data pack works uh, is a little bit different i'll try to keep you guys updated i think that this is super powerful super cool uh thanks so much 
much to Mojang for implementing this into the game. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. And please subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash openjacraft, for future tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on the channel. See you next time. Bye.